Hello out there once again, all my fellow Fix-It employees. Welcome back to another episode of How to Satisfactory, and an episode where I'm starting a little bit different. Today, I'm actually going to be showing you what we are going to be building first before we actually build it. And the idea for today's project is we are going to be adding in a link here to put the space elevator parts directly into the space elevator. So this is going to be a very, very short episode, I think, uh, much shorter than the last couple. And let's go ahead and jump right into it. A great project always starts with a little bit of excellent prep work. So to start off, we're going to need one thing out of the coupon store, which means we are going to need coupons. I grabbed a bunch out of the sink in the end of the last episode. If you haven't already done so, feel free to check your awesome sink, see how many you got, grab those. Then head over to the best store on the planet. It's proudly printed right on the side of the actual store. And we're going to go to architecture and we're going to grab the frame pillar set. It's only two coupons. You don't need that many. Go ahead and add that to your cart and check out. Also, we're going to need some materials to build with. We're going to need concrete and iron plates. We're also going to need some iron rods. And don't forget to grab a bunch of steel beams for conveyor belts because we're definitely going to be needing those. Once you have the material you need, come out here to underneath of the space elevator platform that we built. We're going to grab a foundation, it's set as a one meter, turn that into a four meter, and then put it right on the corner right there, right underneath of that. Then go ahead and copy that foundation once again. We do want the one meter this time. Also, be careful where you're standing because our coal truck is gonna be like coming through here. So kind of watch out for that. You don't wanna get squished by the truck. Next, we're going to take that one meter foundation. We're going to put it right on the edge of that four meter foundation we got, not on the bottom, because that's going to be too much. And they can't do it like that. You got to put it right on the edge. Uh, make sure you got zoop on as well, and then zoop that all the way over until it touches the connection right there. And then do the same thing and zoop that all the way over to the corner over there. Come over to the other side and then bring that also in all the way over to the edge like that. And essentially what we're going to be doing is filling this square in right here because we're going to make a logistics floor underneath of the space elevator. So just go ahead and take your foundations and just connect them from one edge to the other like so until you get this all filled in. Once your logistics floor is complete, come back over to the first corner we placed here and we're going to delete that and then put in a one meter because we don't necessarily need that right there. And now this is where we're going to be needing those platforms. So what we're going to do is first of all, grab a big pillar support and place it right on the bottom. You can pretty much put it anywhere you want. I'm going to put it kind of right, right in the center of four of these right there. That is going to be good. All right, and then we're going to grab the big frame pillar and we're just going to bring this down until maybe right about there. And then I think we can just copy a pillar support again and then place it right there on the bottom of it. So you should be one pillar support, three frames, and then another pillar support right there. And that looks pretty good. Now I'm gonna do this on the other side as well. So I'm just gonna copy this. I'm gonna come over here. We're gonna place it right in the middle of all four of these platforms. And then copy that as well. Bring that down three times. Copy and place. There we go. All right, so that should act as a support for our platform there. So it doesn't look like it's just kind of floating in midair. It actually looks like it has some structural support to it. Now, this isn't needed, but I like to make things look as good as I can. And I feel like that's going to make it look more natural. Now, once you build the supports, make note of where your actual coal truck is going because I'm sure you don't have the exact same path as me here for it. And uh, if you need to, just kind of redo that so it's not running into the giant pillar right here. And then we are going to go in and grab a ladder and we're just going to place that kind of temporarily here. Bring that down. This is going to give us something we can kind of climb up and down with real quick to get where we need to construct. All right, the next thing I've done here is I've removed one of the floor pieces right underneath of where the inputs for the space elevator is. And I'm going to go ahead and grab a conveyor lift, put it on the middle one, bring it down like that. There we go. And then we wanna find our middle spot down through here, which should be the fifth one over. So one, two, three, four, five. So this right here is going to be the middle right here. And then I'm going to grab a conveyor belt. We're going to grab this, bring it all the way over to here to right on the edge right there, like that. 
And then I'm going to bring that in a corner and just make it go here. And then we're going to bring this all the way down to, to uh, we'll bring it to right here. That's probably good. Make sure everything is straight like that. We're going to take out this piece right here. And that's going to open up this floor in here. Now, once you enter into that, you will have to be aware of the gas. There is some gas in there, but it's only just a little bit. So you can kind of make your way around it real quick over here. So with our logistics floor done, the next thing we're going to do is actually make the connection and the splitter. So come down here to where our conveyor lifts are coming up with the steel. We're going to remove this foundation here, the one under it, and then the one next to that one. That opens up an area where we can kind of walk around down here and get back and forth easy. We're going to come down here to where the corner right is of the conveyor going into the awesome sink. We're going to delete the conveyor belt mark three. Now you might want to do this kind of quick because you don't want your stuff to kind of get backed up. We're going to grab a smart splitter. We're going to put it right here. And if you want, you can bring it over just a little bit more, but it is going to be not the exact same as the other one. So I, I would say right there is honestly your best bet. Make sure your input is coming in from that side right there. There we go. Once your smart splitter is placed, grab a conveyor belt, connect that up to that. So essentially what we're doing is continuing this line down through here where it just goes from one smart splitter to the next. We're going to grab a conveyor lift, Mark III. We're going to put it on the back of that, same as we've done before, up to there. There we go. That works. Then we're going to come back over here, another conveyor belt, and that's going to come up to, let's see here, we want it to go that way. Right there is where it needs to be, so I'm going to go back and place it like right here. And then I should just be able to connect that straight up to that. There we go. Get out of the way of the path of it, and then it should continue. There we go. All right. So now we're going to set up our smart splitter, if we can get to it here. Best place is on top. Then we're going to go in, and we're going to place the center is going to be overflow. And the left output is going to be versatile frameworks. So we'll choose that. There we go. And what this is going to do is it's going to take the versatile frameworks off the line and it's going to send them up and then we're going to send that straight into the space elevator right there. Right now, however, we are sending the versatile frameworks up into storage. So we need to stop that so that it's instead going straight to the space elevator. So we need to figure out which one of these smart splitters is the versatile frameworks. So at the end of the last episode, I gave you guys a little bit of homework, and that was to go ahead and put signs on all of your storage containers to tell you which materials are in which container. So if you guys were able to get that done, then we can automatically see that the versatile frameworks are going to be in that one right there. They could be in a different one. It just depends on how close along that you guys have followed my my tutorial basically uh, like if you've done exactly the same thing then yeah that should be your exact same place but it could be in a different one uh, if you do not have them labeled well then just you know hit F to see which one has them but anyway it should be this one right here just double check for yourself and then once you know for sure which one it is that's gonna make it a whole lot easier to figure out where we need to go in order to change that smart splitter so since I know it's in that one up there it's going to be in the first smart splitter right here oh, can't get too close so this is kind of the uh, the poison area right here so what we're going to need to do is make sure that your health is full and then we're just going to jump over that railing and we're going to get to that smart splitter and we're going to switch that now what we're going to do is we're going to switch it from a versatile framework over to a motor so just so you know that information ahead let's go ahead and do that real quick so just kind of get a little bit of practice and then jump and then get in there and then get to where you can configure it. Versatile framework, just type motor and that should bring it up and there you go. And then we can get out of the gas. All right. Now I personally only lost about half my health so that's not too bad. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and kind of refill that though. So let's see here, I got, I got some barrel nuts so I'll just eat some of those and refill my health. All right, so at this point, we should have our logistics floor underneath the space elevator done. We've got these two foundations right here removed. That's going to make it easy for us to run our conveyor belts over here. And then we've got the new smart splitter in with a conveyor lift. We've got the smart splitter set 
to put versatile frameworks up into this method and then we change the versatile frameworks over there so that they are doing motors instead now you're probably thinking why did i choose motors we're not even making motors well that's a little preview for the next episode all right so our next step is copy that conveyor mark 3 right there we're going to connect it into this lift and then we're going to run it over here and we're going to make this about as straight as we can right here so just get it right right there in the middle is where we want to put this real quick and yes i do know that it's crossing this one right here but the thing is once we put these foundations back you're not going to see this at all so it's not going to be a problem now let's go ahead and jump up on top of this let's copy this conveyor lift right here and i'm going to put that right in an angle right there just to kind of get that to connect now do i want that to be a little closer you know what i do want that to be a little bit closer let's just go down here and we'll do it from down here so right there that looks like that's lined up and then we're just going to move it one space up right there so it's right level with that floor all right and then we can connect our belt from there into that conveyor lift then we can jump up here and now all we have to do is connect this output right here over to this over here so we'll go ahead and grab a conveyor mark three again i'm going to run that out and i kind of like this actually this doesn't bother me too much so we'll go ahead and bring this out over here and let's see i believe i have that coming to there so if we bring it right to the edge right there on that foundation line right there we should be able to connect that right up there we go and now we have our versatile frameworks moving from the smart splitter down there instead of going into storage they're going straight into our space elevator now you will notice that this doesn't exactly line up that well here in fact if we kind of look at it you can see it does go up just a little bit of an angle right there that's fine for some odd reason the space elevator just isn't lined up with anything else so if you're putting conveyor belts and stuff into it or conveyor lifts specifically it's not going to line up with anything else that we have which is odd and i don't know why they did that but yeah something is up with that and just don't worry about it you didn't do anything wrong that's just how it is we're going to put our foundation back right here on top of that then we're going to come back down here and what i want to do here is i want to copy one of these smart splitters and change that into a regular splitter not anything else just a regular one now the reason i'm doing this i will tell you in just a second what we're going to do is we're going to move this back a little bit i want to hide the edge of that just a little bit back so i think that might work right there i hope so anyway all right let's go ahead and grab a foundation we're going to place that foundation on top of that like there and i think that's going to work yes all right so the reason i do that is because since we don't actually have like wall holes that we can place anywhere i like to use splitters to have the uh the conveyor belt move into the wall like that and then from there you can kind of see that it looks like it's just going into a hole in the wall and that's about as close as i can get to a, a wall hole that we can place anywhere so just a little trick i do you don't have to do this you could just totally just have it running straight to the wall if you want that's fine but that gives it just a little bit more personality i think right there go ahead and copy this foundation we're going to place that one back right there that should be fine there all right next we're going to come up to the next layer right here where these are and we're going to place this one meter foundation back down right there there we go all right and if you need to, you can put your walls up right here, all the way up to the ceiling right there. That will fix that. And I like this. This looks good. I think we've got everything fixed up now. Now, what I'd like to eventually do is put another one of those right here, which means we'll have to move a lot of these around right here. But since that is definitely inside the poison gas and we don't have the gas mask just yet, it's also not really needed right now at this moment. So we won't worry about that. We'll just keep the one that we have over there on that side. And then later on, once we get the gas mask, we should be able to just jump in here and just be able to work without, you know, having to worry about dying, which is great. All right, that's going to do it for this episode of How to Satisfactory. I know it was a little bit short, but short and sweet and to the point is what I was going for for this one. We can now move on to the next episode where we are going to be adding in a machine to make motors because we're going to need motors in order to get the oil.
Thanks so much for watching the whole video. Very much appreciate that. I do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, could you do me a huge favor and just click that thumbs up button down below? What that does is it says to YouTube that this video is pretty good, and then it pushes that video out to a much wider audience, which is what I'm trying to reach. I want to give you a huge shout out to all of my patrons out there. You guys are awesome. Rob Hunter, Saud, Dragon Miss, Dr. Awesome the Wizard, Raven Ravel, Matthew96. Thanks guys for being a supporter. And a huge thank you to Dudley Bean. You are a platinum supporter and that is completely awesome. Very much appreciate that. And that's going to do it from Satisfactory. I will see you guys in the next video wherever you are. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. See you next time.